I'm 37 weeks pregnant and finally getting my stuff ready for the hospital. Let's check out what I'm going to bring. Welcome to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I am sharing what I'm kind of packing in my hospital bag. I'm going to try to be as minimalistic as possible and use my sister and sister-in-law's experiences at the hospital I'm going to to try to streamline what I'm bringing. So let me show you what I'm going to pack. So for Jack, I'm going probably a little overboard on like the number of outfits I could be bringing, but I just don't know what's in store, if he's going to be in the NICU or whatever, because Aubrey was in the NICU for a week. I'm really hoping that's not the case. And I don't know like how chilly it's going to be in the hospital and how cozy he's going to be or what I want him to really wear. So I'm just kind of bringing like a variety of things and, you know, there's also accidents, so I don't want to just bring like one outfit for his coming home outfit and then he like ruins it before we even leave the hospital. So let me show you the different outfits that I'm going to be bringing for him. So I have like two like short sleeve onesies. This one was a gift um, when we got Aubrey from my friend Sophia, major cutie, because Juan was in the army. And then I just have a plain white one that can go like under the sleeper that I'm packing. And then we have like a separate outfit and then one that ties at the bottom. So, um, you know, all of this is like everything's different, but I don't really know exactly what he's going to need or how many times I'm going to have to change him. I'm also making sure to bring two pairs of socks and definitely mittens so that he doesn't scratch his little face. I am packing some diapers, um, probably more for like accidents when we're not at the hospital. And then also like just this little burp cloth thing that came in, I think the Amazon registry like gift bag or whatever. So that is pretty much what I'm bringing for Jack. This next little setup is not necessarily for the hospital, but definitely to keep in the car. And so I kind of figure like that's important to have prepared before you go to the hospital in case, um, you know, there's an accident on the way home or if you're out and about. So I'm going to be like getting this bag, this diaper changing station uh, prepared. It still has like Aubrey's old stuff. It is actually a diaper changing station that I have two of. So I love having one in like a diaper bag and then keeping one in the car. But I got it from Target when I was pregnant with Aubrey. It was on our registry and I just love it because you can pretty much make anything a diaper bag. You don't necessarily need a, you know, diaper bag, like specific bag. The other item that is definitely not like a hospital necessarily like bag item, but we want to make sure that we have our car seat in the car. We still use the back seat in our car, so uh, this will be going in the trunk and Juan will be setting it up when we're at the hospital, like when we actually need it, because otherwise we can't pretty much use our car. So as far as clothes go for me, I am pretty fine with wearing just like the hospital gown. I'm not you know, extra and need like a big robe and separate PJs or like a personalized hospital gown or anything like that. Obviously, if that's something that, you know, seems like something you'd want to do, go for it. But I am just, you know, kind of basic and very, very, very easy to please. In general, you know, like I'm not really picky about like what I wear. And so anyways, um, I am going to be packing two of these nursing camis. So like these are nursing camis that I got when I was, I think, pregnant with Aubrey, maybe bought them afterwards, but they're very comfortable. And I love, you know, just like having them. Usually if I'm at home, like I'll just wear them by themselves if it's not too cold, but I do like wearing them underneath other tops so that if I'm nursing, I'm not showing like belly skin or anything like that. So I'm bringing two, I probably could just bring one, but you know, in case I leak or like, I don't even think the milk is gonna come in that early, but you know, just in case there's spit up or something, I at least have another one. I'm also bringing two different types of tops. So this one top that I'm packing is like a pregnancy top and I really like it. I think it's really pretty, but um, it has buttons down the front, so I figured that would make nursing really easy if I'm having a hard time, like, you know, wanting to cover up if I have visitors or anything like that. Um, and then I do have this very 
very large and just kind of like flowy top that doesn't have any buttons, um, but it is bigger. So my nursing style is just kind of like wearing a cami and then wearing like an oversized shirt that I can wrap over the baby as I feed them. But that stage in breastfeeding came a lot later with Aubrey. So I'm not too optimistic that I will be able to like successfully cover Jack if I need or if I feel the need to have that extra privacy. So I'm having a button down and one that I would hopefully be able to just use as a cover. Probably unnecessary, I am bringing a pair of pants. Um, I envision going to the hospital in a pair of these pants, but in case, let's say I'm having just contractions at home and we end up deciding to go to the hospital, but my water breaks in the car or you know something like that, I at least have an additional pair of pants that I can use. If I end up having a C-section and those nursing camis are like, you know, go too low or are too uncomfortable or anything like that, I am bringing a nursing bra, like a sports bra, um, just, just in case I don't want to have that full cami underneath a shirt or anything like that. So I am bringing this as well as two like I think they're called bamboobies or whatever. I got them obviously with Aubrey. They're like washable breast pads that absorb any leakage. I don't envision leaking at all, but if I do, I have at least one set of these guys for that protection. And I have one pair of regular underwear, but I think the underwear that will be my friend are the disposable ones. This is something that was recommended when I gave birth to Aubrey and I really liked how it was just kind of like, you use it, you throw it away, you put on a new one. You don't deal with the mesh panties that they give you and the big pads or anything like that. So I have a lot more like in my room at home, but I'm gonna be bringing you know, a number of these uh, in case my hospital stay is longer than I'd like. Obviously, if I run out, I will use whatever the hospital provides, but this was just kind of more like a comfort item for me it's not necessary if you go to the hospital they will you know obviously take care of you in that regard but it is kind of like a little luxury that um, i really enjoyed enjoyed uh, my first time around i'm not packing a breastfeeding pillow apparently the hospital like provides you one while you're staying there so that is something that you know i'm definitely not going to be bringing i'm also not bringing like a peri bottle or things to clean down there because i know that the hospital will provide that i don't have really experience delivering vaginally so i'm not prepared with like witch hazel pads or anything like that I kind of don't want to prepare that, especially if I'm gonna end up having a C-section anyways. So that will be something that I kind of play by ear. Um, I'm really hoping for a V-back, but you never know. So I just kind of figure I'm gonna let the hospital take care of me in that regard and I will deal with you know, witch hazel pads or anything like that that could help my healing uh, when I get home. As far as toiletries go, my plan is to, you know, if I, know that I'm gonna be going to the hospital and it's not like a major rush to get there. I'm hoping just to shower before I go. And then depending on how long I stay, if I just stay like the night, I probably won't shower at the hospital, honestly. I'll probably just wait till I'm in the comfort of my own home. But I'm sure that they provide like basic shampoo, basic soap, and my body is not very picky, I guess. Um, or I'm not very picky about what I use. So I'm just gonna use whatever shampoo and conditioner or soap or whatever that they have there at the hospital. So the main thing is just like oral care. I have toothbrushes, toothpaste. I have some chapstick in here. This is kind of like our family uh, little toiletry bag. So I have like wand stuff in here too. Um, I have like a razor for him, things like that, like his aftershave, our deodorant. So just kind of like basic toiletries that you know that the hospital won't provide. So something I forgot to mention with baby Jack is I'm bringing this little like nail file thing. It's perfect for their little baby fingernails if you want to just kind of sand them down rather than try to cut them. But I do have this little baby nail clipper which I obviously use for Aubrey and that's why it's kept in our family travel bag. So I have that but I did make sure to put this in our family toiletry bag in case I need to sand down his fingernails. Um, obviously, again, I am bringing some little mittens for him, but you never know. He could have like really long fingernails that I need to take care of like right away. And then hair care. So I have my little like folding wet brush 
and some hair bands, some clips, whatever, you know, you know me. I'm not very picky. I will also be bringing some snacks, um, probably mostly for Juan, but also maybe for me if I'm allowed to like snack in between meals. We got some like cookies and crackers and peaches and some water. So I'll probably be adding to the stash, honestly, if I come across something else that looks more appealing, but I just wanna have something just in case we have to go in the coming days. And the last main things that I'm bringing are like electronics. So I'll be bringing my laptop to, you know, edit stuff in the meantime. And obviously the charger, I have like a couple cables and like the plugins for the wall, as well as a portable charger in case there's like not an outlet close by and I need to charge my phone. Some of those things are last minute. So I have a little list that I will be keeping with all of this stuff where it'll be like, don't forget, Phone, phone charger, watch, watch charger. Those are optional. I don't know if I'm gonna actually wear my watch, but my laptop, the laptop charger, and any other little pieces of technology that I might use every day and just can't, you know, like put in my bag every night or whatever. Kind of in the same realm as electronics. Obviously, I'll need to be bringing my like wallet or ID and things like that. So that again is something that I normally keep in my purse and will probably remain in my purse until we are ready to leave. We also do plan on getting Aubrey a gift that is like from Jack. Uh, which we haven't really bought yet. We have some ideas. And so we'll probably be picking up something like that in the coming days, wrapping it and just leaving it in the car so that when we come home, we can definitely bring that gift along with us. Or if she is able to visit us in the hospital, we'll have it with us and Juan can bring it up to the room and say, hey, this is what Jack brought you. So that is something that I don't have like here yet, but we do plan on keeping in our car or in the hospital room. Uh, for when baby Jack comes. As far as Juan's stuff goes, he's kind of like handling his own stuff. I think the one thing he said he might actually bring is like a pillow, but he can sleep anywhere. You know, he was in the military, so he's not really super picky when it comes to the sleeping arrangements. And, you know, he will have the flexibility of going home and coming back if necessary. We're probably like 30 minutes from the hospital, so it's not too far. And so if he needs to go home and like change or whatever, he can do that. Um, you know, I, he doesn't plan on getting super dirty or anything like that either. So if he showers right before we leave as well and stays in the clothes for 24 hours, that's probably fine too. So I have his toiletries, we'll pack a pillow for him, we're good to go. I envision packing like most of Jack's stuff in this little bag. It's gonna probably be like a diaper bag for me for a while. And then in our little carry-on bag will be my clothes and any other little random things that Juan wants to pack in. Most likely this video will be airing before I actually leave for the hospital. So if you have anything that you think I am definitely missing that is like an absolute necessity, go ahead and leave those tips down below in the comments. I will make sure to read them and maybe even incorporate them into my hospital bag. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed it or got anything from it. If you didn't, you can hit the thumbs down button. That's okay too. And if you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. Obviously, there's a lot of changes gonna be happening in my little family. We're going from a family of three to a family of four, which I'm a little nervous about. Uh, we also have a new build that's being done and will be completed about two months after Jack is born. So that's exciting and just a lot of life changes. So I'd love to have you stick around and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.